right, so this video begins as we cross over the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. We're heading south towards Sarasota. That can't be good. Lots of black smoke on that side of the bay. So we stopped at the rest stop. Hello, Chris the girl. Hi. Hi. We stopped here so we could take a closer look at what's going on over there. Yeah. That's bad. That's really bad. Maybe I can see or Google on my phone any kind of news on this fire. What do you think happened over there, Mr. Crow? There's a big fire. Do you know anything about it? No? And we just did a quick Google search. Nothing came up, so maybe this just uh, this just happened. But we just came across the Sunshine Skyway Bridge from Tampa. And we're heading to Sarasota. Let's actually begin this video. There's much ahead, my friends. So much ahead. Well, hello, Sarasota. I saw it. Well, I was hoping to begin the video at Florida's only Jack's Donuts. Last Monday, well, not even like five days ago, this past Monday, I was at the original Jack's Donuts in my hometown of Newcastle, Indiana. And when we saw that this was allegedly open, I was excited to show you a taste of the homeland from where I come from, Jack's Donuts. Yeah. But it's not open yet. It is not even close to being open. No, it's not. It looks like it did on New Year's Eve when I was here last and yeah. discovered it. But, oh darn. It, but you still need a coffee, don't you? I do, yeah. We'll have and to get some, a coffee somewhere. And some food. Some food. Okay, we'll do that before yeah. we start the video. Okay. But let's do an introduction first okay. and okay. tell them what we're doing. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> yes. But they have made some progress since my last visit. A quick peek inside the window before I do the intro. Jack's Donuts. That's the logo from Newcastle, Indiana. Hometown Donuts right here. This franchise living the American dream. Small town business gone national. I love it. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. We're doing it. We're starting the video. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel, Chris, my girl. It's been two weeks since I've vlogged with you. I've traveled many a mile since uh, we were out at the uh, McDill Air Force Base yep. for Airfest. And now we're here in Circus Town. Yes, we are. Check out the big top with the donuts behind me on the side of the Jack's Donuts. That's really cool. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah. Sarasota, you've been through here before, right? I have been here uh, before a few few times. I almost went to college here. Almost? Uh, yeah, almost. Oh. At, at New College. New College? Uh -huh. Instead of Rollins? Instead of Rollins, yeah. Well, actually, this was when I was going to school at Rollins. Oh, you were going to transfer? And I was transfer? thinking about transferring, yeah, to New College, but decided not to, so. Uh, to the showbiz town. Yep, exactly. Well, Wanted see, it was, it was inevitable, college. though. You're, you're making uh, videos now. You're still... It's still part of show business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I did there. All right, so what are we doing today? I am updating my Florida Roadside Attraction series finally, uh, a series I started back in 2020. Uh, I put over 50 videos on this series, Florida Roadside Attractions in Abandoned Places. Today we're visiting a very iconic Sarasota roadside attraction, Sarasota Jungle Gardens, which uh, is not too far from here. It's off of Tammy Amy Trail, which is this highway right here. Actually, it's over this way, not too far from Jack's Donuts. We were hoping to grab a donut and a coffee and head over to Sarasota Jungle Gardens to feed, hopefully feed, a flamingo! Flamingos! Oh my gosh! I don't know. I don't know how you deal with me. Really, I don't know. I just get excited about flamingos. You do, yes. But we're going to Sarasota Jungle Gardens, and there is much ahead. I can't say that enough. There is so much ahead. Oh yeah. All right. I'll get you some coffee first, though. And at the corner of Tammy Amy Trail and Myrtle, we have the gigantic sign telling us to turn here. 
Sarasota Jungle Gardens, Sarasota's favorite family attraction. This is an old sign here, folks. Check out the brick here and the sea rock. It's been here for a long time, and it looks like they have a Easter celebration coming up, Friday, April 15th, next weekend. Uh, that would be Good Friday, Jungle Trails and Bunny Tails. That is cute, that's adorable. And notice the flamingos and the gator. Watch out, flamingos, there's a gator looking right at you. Oh no, oh no, I'm so excited and we haven't even got there, just checking out the sign. Oh, and I did acquire a coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. It's not Jack's, but it'll have to do. Are, are you setting up for your video? I'm setting up, Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll get in the car after that. Okay. Here we come, it's that way. We're in the parking lot of a CVS, by the way. The sign said turn here, so I turned there. This just looks like a random Florida neighborhood. It's starting to back up right here, though. I think we're getting close to the entrance. 10 to 4 p.m., and we came at 1. Wow, so we got three hours. I think that'll be enough time. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. And just a few steps away, we are at the entrance of Sarasota Jungle Gardens. And this is absolutely adorable and tiki just screams 1960s tiki craze. 1950s, 1960s, a big tiki wave went through uh, the United States. And I'm guessing, we'll find out exactly when this opened, but I'm gonna say it was like the 50s or the 60s. Do you know when this opened? Absolutely not, I would ask you for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna find out though, we'll find out by the end of the video when it opened, of course. This is cute, isn't it? It's adorable, yeah. I love it. And we're about to walk in. Um, right here, the, the tiki guys here on each side of the door, we were noticing that it's very full in there. And what did you just get? I just got some flamingo food. Oh, See? look at that. It's right there. Oh, yeah, thank very, you. Very nice uh, lady offered uh, her leftover flamingo food. That was so. nice. <gasps> I'm going to feed a flamingo. Yep. Yep. Yes. It's inevitable now. Yep. Oh. oh, my gosh. Right inside the door of the gift shop, a basket full of flamingos. Oh, as we're waiting in line, Chris has discovered that we can actually purchase some flamingo feet. Yeah, little cute little slippers. Little house slippers. Yeah. And they have some live entertainment here. Here's the list of the daily shows. And it looks like we missed uh, Wildlife Wonder Show and Bird Show, but there's, there's still show. a reptile show going on at three. Maybe we'll see some of that. And we have entered the jungle gardens. And right out here to the left are some parrots. And here are the signs depicting the way. Sarasota Jungle Gardens. I do have a map in hand. This place is gigantic. Check it out. We're gonna see all kinds of animals today and of course flamingos. I see a, a, they have a, a lemur island out there somewhere, a kookaburra bird and whatnot. This is amazing. And I'm going off the beaten path because just out in the open right here, a flamingo. Hello, buddy. Oh. Hi. This is amazing. He's number 38. He's tagged right there. I'm like in shock right now. I've never been this close to a flamingo. All right, we can go home now. <laughs> oh, this is gonna get fed? I'm gonna do this later. And over here at the croc corner, there's a ton of American alligators. Baby ones. Check them out down there. Ooh, little hand biters. Ooh, spook that one. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Wow, there's so many of them. They're so beautiful. I can't, I lost count. How many are down there? Quick, count fast. Wait a minute, there's more over here. Wow, these are cool, aren't they? Don't you see Bella in them? No, they oh my. Look, well, they just kind of oh, look no, like Bella look. when she's snoozing. That turtle, yeah, that turtle's riding a gator. Aww. Watch out. Uh, I, for a second I thought you said Bella in there. I'm like, no! No, she's not in no, there. No, <laughs> don't put her in there. And we are officially starting the trail. There's a lot of people doing the shows right now, so this is a good time to just walk around. What we got over here? Sammy. He's a, a McCall parrot. Hey, Sammy, what you eating over there? What? You say you don't McCall. <laughs> Oh, beautiful bird. Yeah, he's really pretty. Oh, we've been warned. Children must remain with parents. I thank goodness you didn't wear your high heels today. Oh, 
I was like, Jay, don't wear them, not today. Yep, I left them at home. Yeah, thank goodness. And there's a show going on over here, but there's some more parrots to the left. They're kind of watching the show. They say, move over, I can't see. Oh, this one's, this one's looking at us. Oh no, pretty birds, pretty birds. Oh. oh, I see how it is. Give me your backside. And coming around the stadium here. Little show going on. Oh no, what's he have around his neck? Oh. All right, let's do the inner trail. There's an outer trail that way, which we'll go there eventually, but I think we're gonna do the uh, jungle trail, inner trail. It says there's a, a garden tour this way too. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. I like the canopy here. I feel like I'm in, I'm in Predator or something. Watch out for cloaking aliens. Ooh. Nothing in here. Nothing to see here. This cage is empty. Oh, it does say there's an owl in here. And we have a great horned owl. Hello, Mr. Owl, I have a question for you. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? And don't say three. I just confused him. That was bananas. You asked that, he looked directly at He looked at into us. my soul. <laughs> and hard to make out through the mesh, but there's a kookaburra over there. Remember that old song, kookaburra something? We don't know the lyrics. There you go. Butchered them. Something, something, something. I'm sure our subscribers will correct the <laughs> kookaburra. Laugh, kookaburra, laugh, kookaburra, something, something, something. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Masterpiece. You can really tell the age of the place in the brick right here. Little pathway here. Check it out. You can have your birthday party out here. It's like someone's doing right now. Yep. It's kind of. Yeah. I didn't expect to actually walk through the party. Yeah. This is along the trail, folks. We didn't uh, we didn't invite ourselves, I promise. Ooh, that cake looks good over there. This could be you, this could be you in this a couple could, weeks. Yeah, it could be me. Oh yeah, yeah. I do have a birthday coming uh -huh. up. Oh, by the way, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Just walking along the inner trail. I think this is what they are calling like the gardens. The gardens? Yeah, this is the gardens. So, so beautiful. Wow, and it's a beautiful day by the way. It's like 72 degrees. I love it. This is the weather I live for. Oh yeah. And if you forgot to pick up the hand map with the flamingo on it, they've got a big map. A big map. Man, words are hard. Okay, so we are here. We just walked basically this way. You want to backtrack a little bit? We came this way. Yeah. And then I guess along here. We're here. You want to go left? So we could, yeah, go along Ooh, here. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff back this way. Yeah. Even a Jar Jar pond. <gasps> jar Jar, yeah. Well, I, I added an extra jar. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good call. This place is not that big, by the way. That was that looked like a long walk on the map. Wasn't long at all. Here we come. And somewhere in here are Reeves Muntjac deer. Hard to see. Over here? Oh, over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's in the shadows. Oh, the, mesh is hard. the mesh is hard to look through. I'm gonna get a different angle. Oh dear, there he is. And he's made a friend. There's a rooster, a black rooster behind him. Hey, Mr. Muntjack, look over this way. There's a lot of people watching that like to see you. Oh, well, he's having a moment. <laughs> Moment. Yep. I moved over here, but I think he's a little camera shy. As soon as he saw me, he looked away. All right, I'll leave him be. Chris, are you over here? I lost Chris. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that over there. Just like uh. Oh, there she is. I thought I lost you. Nope. Right over here. I like this place. Yeah, it's really cool. I was what? just saying, it gives me sunken garden vibes. Sunken gardens. Yeah, yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. We only just have begun. Yep. Got so much to see, much ahead. And we're back on the trail. Watch out, there's younglings ahead. Oh, this makes sense. It's the petting zoo over here. A lot of people. Let's see if we can take a look real quick. Yep, there's a sign right there, petting zoo. Oh, they got hogs over here. They got goaty, goaty, goat goats, as you would say. Oh, smells like Indiana. 
Just a little. Oh, that's so adorable. Did you hear him? He said that doesn't taste too bad. <laughs> and I believe Chris has spotted the lemurs. All the way from Madagascar. Ring-tailed lemurs. What is happening? Hello, King Julian. Oh, he's playing with the uh, the sign there. That is so cool. There he goes. That's beautiful. Just a random pot with water flowing out of it. Water feature. Water feature. I like that water feature. Yeah, good old snapping turtles. Is that what they are? Uh, that one. Or a. Um, those are the big ones, I think, might be. They are big. There's quite a few of them in there. Like algae and moss. Yeah, the smell's kind of funky, like sulfur. Yeah, sulfur. Yeah, horrible. But you got to be careful because it says we bite. Oh no! And over here in the corner, you have a classic vending machine with turtle food, 50 cents. Right there, people are feeding the turtles. Hard to see through the mesh, and he's all the way back towards the back wall of this uh, enclosure. There's a hawk right there. Oh, he's looking at us. And he's tweeting, tweet, tweet. What's up, Mr. Hawk? Lincoln Hawk? He's coming this way. Wow, wow. That was beautiful. And we're almost back to the front where we started on the outer trail. Obviously, we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go back all the way around, but I just wanted to show you, there's a couple of animal um, cages over here. Enclosures. Enclosures. Man, you're so smart, I'm glad you're here. And a red-tailed hawk over here. The mesh is hard to see through. There he is down there. And making our way back towards the outer trail, the deer is standing up now. Oh dear. There you go. All right, see you later, Mr. Deer. I'm noticing a ton of carving in the trees out here. Yeah. Like a bunch of trees. Not for a long time though, but it looks like at one point they weren't really monitoring the people walking through mm -hmm. the trail. It's been around for a it's long time. It's been around time, for a long so time, 1939. Knows. Okay, so we're back where we uh, took the split in the road to come back this way. We walked back along the outer trail past the giant map, now going this way. Taking this turn for the first time. Chris, the girl ahead. Let's see what happens over here this way. I'm just having a good time. I just, just fired up the camera. Me too. So beautiful out here. Been one of the nicest times. We were just both saying this. It's been one of the nicest times the, that we've had in a long time. Yep, so. one of the most relaxing days. Mm-hmm, very relaxing. Mm -hmm. And up beyond, it's starting to open up. But right over here, another enclosure. Ooh, wow, oh my gosh. Black-throated monitors, large lizards. Let's see if I can get a better look for you. This mesh is hard to see through. There they are. Haven't seen one of them since uh, Repticon. Always enjoy going to the Reptile Festival Repticon. Those are black-throated monitors. Got some gnarly tongues on them. Oh my goodness. I see flamingos over there. Don't you worry, folks. I will feed a flamingo. Might save that for last. There's a lot of folks over there right now. Hoping that by the time we feed flamingos, we have them more to ourselves. Flamingo! Flamingo! Here I come, my flamingos. You know I love you. This is one of the most gorgeous parks I've ever been inside of. Gardens. It is very nice, yeah. Very nice, and you can tell, like you were saying in your video, very old, these pathways are very narrow. Been here a long time. Oh, more flamingos over there. We're going around this pond. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is amazing. It is, yes. I'm a kid in a candy store. <laughs> Or a J in a flamingo garden. garden. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see a fishy over here. Got to be careful. This reminds me of, of a scene from Crocodile Dundee. I see it. Here it comes. Arr. No. Look at this. They have a little post for selfies. 
for this photo opportunity, this banyan tree with the uh, Sarasota Gardens insignia. Are you gonna model it out for us? So there you go, I'm gonna put my camera right here. This is what you would do when you come here. Good job. Good job, Chris the girl. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, we are, yay! If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. Make sure I got the flamingo in there. Yeah, that's the important part. Got it, all right. Hashtag Chris the girl, hashtag Tampa J, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and all the, all the above, or the below. <laughs> Look at this, what is this? It's a reptile cave? Or a snake cave? Wow! Oh no, yeah, there's a python in here somewhere. Oh, he's down there. Wow, he's all uh, so tucked up, taking a nap. I wonder if that's the python I saw earlier at the show. I wonder if they just uh, borrowed him for a second. There's some more snakes in here, though. This is pretty cool. I like this uh, cave. Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, look. What is that? Is that a boa? Or is that some other kind of python? There's no, uh, no signage here. I'm sure someone uh, has already spotted out what kind of snake that is. Some other big boy. An anaconda. He's got some tiki's in his. Yeah, head. I like the tiki yeah. shrines. Yeah, that's cool. Where's the bath? Isn't that a banana snake? And ladies and gentlemen, the Burmese python. It says Burmese python, but I don't know if that is one. It's pretty. Ooh, Chris the girl questioning the signs. Yeah, questioning the signs. <laughs> the sign does say Burmese python, by the way. It, don't it doesn't look like the picture. That like one's that one's not yellow. I think he discovered something. Okay, map update. I like that they have these giant maps up here so we can keep things in perspective for you. We are right here, just went through the giant snakes of the world in enclosure, making our way around the lake. Looks like there's a lemur island up ahead, uh, ceramic crocodile, porcupines. Much ahead, and of course, in the heart of it, flamingos, that's coming. And all of this over here, there's a flamingo cafe even, and a butterfly garden. We've only just begun. And we're getting closer to the pond. You can walk right over here. Oh, I see the flamingos. The flamingos are busy right now, but that will be me, eventually. Just can't get over how gorgeous this place is out here. Chris is over there behind me uh, shouting out her uh, coffee. She always shouts out a coffee. People buy her coffee in the vlog. Something I was kind of kind of playing at doing. The coffee app thing. She's over there shouting out today's coffee. Someone bought her a coffee and she's shouting them out. I was thinking about doing it. Perhaps. Maybe. I don't know. I drink a lot of coffee. Be a good way to like, uh, you know, shout people out and drink coffee at the same time. Oh, there's a gator. There's a gator over here. No! Watch out! You're gonna get eaten! Oh, I think it's fake. Wow! Now this guy, this guy, I can just tell. He's very old. He's probably been here since the 60s. I don't know. Just guessing. He's been there a long time. Right here in front of... Another sign, another photo opportunity. Classic gator, I wonder if he has a name. Shall we name him? Shall we name him? Have you named him? Comment below, what's his name? Look, you can actually make out some of the, the steel. Uh, oh, it's plaster, ooh, I don't wanna break that. It's pretty classic to see. Watch out, there's a gator. About to say, what are you checking out over there? But I see it's a huge gator. He's a big one. Looks like he has some uh, dermatology problems yep. on his little he, snout there. Huh? He's old. He's yeah. an old guy. Oh my gosh, Chris, that's going to be me. Look, they're wide open. Should we do it now? We can. Oh, nope, oh, someone's, nope. someone's going. going they oh, it's they fine. took our idea. We'll I said, wait. we'll wait. Yeah. Lucky flamingos. Very lucky. They're living, well, they're living they're their best life. Living like kings out here, I feel yeah. bad for the rest of the birds though. <laughs> Cause no one cares. Normally they'd be like, oh, pretty birds, but everyone's going towards the flamingos. Aww. The rock work of this uh, enclosure over here. I don't know what's in here, but I just wanted to point out the rock work. Looks very old. 
there's a porcupine in there. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me zoom in. Let's see if I can get a better look for you. He's hiding. Now, that's probably the closest we're going to get right there. That's the best angle. He's taking a nap, but you can see his pines. He's all relaxed. I would hate for him to, to stick uh, anyone with those things. Ooh. Always think of Chance getting the porcupines in the uh, Homeward Bound. Yeah, classic movie. Which Chance in Homeward Bound was voiced by Michael J. Fox. Yep. Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. Classic movie. Yeah, it is. Classic from our childhood. Yep. 90s. Very 90s. Yeah. This is just amazing that you can come out here and feed the flamingos. Wow. The buildup. They're just so popular right now. They're popular attractions. And there's some folks over here chilling in the shade in the gazebo. Some folks over here around the flamingos. Looks like, looks like they're sleeping. <laughs> they got their leg up. Good morning, last lady. Just trying to look out for his And it looks like they're in defense mode, actually. Yeah. Now we don't want to approach I these. Just oh. sorry, I just saw it like take a chomp, like oh, at someone? someone. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you though, flamingos. We'll see you later. And of course, we have to point out the stag horn fern hanging from the tree. I learned that from the you. Yeah, it's a big one. It is a big it's one. Huge. Put things into perspective over there. Give it a hug. Big. Stag horn fern reminds me of foghorn leghorn. I don't know why, but it does. I say, I say, son. Whoa, whoa, fell. Ha! <laughs> Uh, Check out these trash cans. I can demonstrate for you. Demonstrate. Those are do classic you want, looking. Do you want to sit before I throw, throw away? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's not what you do. Killed it. Here. Killed this it twice. Is, this Dropped is it. What you do. Okay. Right there. There you go. Easy peasy. Documented in history. And this is pretty cool, but we don't know what it is. It's not open. These three little huts. Just cool looking. Right here under the shade. This is pretty. Chris is about to uh, demonstrate the arbor walking through it. Good job. I like it. I like it a lot. Whoa, so pretty over here. Really opens up again. Oh, there's a fountain out on the pond. And there you go, a look at the pond with the fountain. Some lily pads over here to the right. A little sign that says, please no swimming. So tranquil. What do we have over here? Check it out. Shall I read? I think I shall. The kiss of the sun for pardon. The song of the birds for mirth. You're nearer God's heart in a garden than anywhere else on earth. And you can't really walk over here, but it's a nice, nice little spot to have a picnic and whatnot. The little tree coming this way and the big trees going that way. Check it out, the palms all the way up into the heavens. Low arch, Chris. Almost made it. Almost made it. Oh, something going on over here. Looks like this might be the uh, Flamingo Cafe. You can walk around it. We're gonna go this way. Another staghorn fern, like a gigantic one, straight ahead. Oh, the butterfly garden. Yeah, that's right. It's right here. Here, butterfly garden. All right, where's all the butterflies? Where are they? I don't see any butterflies. Butterfly in the sky. Do you see any butterflies over here? Uh, not yet. I'm looking, keeping my eyes peeled. Oh, what was that? Wasn't a butterfly. And above this flamingo, I think we found where the butterflies are at. They're in here. I see a bunch of them uh, flying around. 
Let's get in there. This is very cool. I'm very fascinated. There's a yellow and uh, black one over here. A couple of them. Welcome to Wild America with Chris and Jay. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts. I don't know why, but... It's very... Typically, I don't, you know, come to butterfly gardens. And we have found the Flamingo Cafe. Look at that. Now, I was just at the Flamingo Diner in Dunreath, Indiana with my grandpa like five days ago having breakfast. I'm not really hungry, but I'm, I'm very curious to see what this looks like inside. Yeah, let's go inside and check it out. Kind of reminds me of Storybook Land. I'm getting those vibes. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, of course they have flamingos in here. What's over there? What's that? Oh, that's adorable. That's the men's room. And I'm assuming over here, past these flamingos. It smells good in here. The women's room. <laughs> it is. Yeah, over here is more of the uh, dining area. There's another room to the right where you get the food, the actual cafe. It really is all kinds of things you can eat in here, including popcorn. It's a popcorn machine. And right outside the Flamingo Cafe, this awesome uh, koi pond. Check it out. There's some huge uh, carp in here. Those things are huge, big ones. And then the fountain right up here in the center. This is where I would eat if I ordered something at the uh, Flamingo Cafe. Hey fellas, how you doing? Doing good? Another look at the fountain. And another look at the Flamingo Cafe. Hi, Chris. And we're up on a hill, and right behind the fountain, folks, down the hill, flamingos, we're coming, coming to get you. Oh, yeah. Are you all right? Okay, it wouldn't be the Flamingo Cafe if a flamingo didn't show up. Oh, my gosh, should I just feed it now? Should I just give in, or should I wait? It's so hard. Oh, I, I am just mind blown. Chris is actually freaking out because she's not a, a bird person. Are you okay? Yeah, it's good. I'm fine. Just a you're minor take, phobia of, of you're birds. You're taking one for the team today yeah. and I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh-huh. My girlfriend doesn't like birds, but I love yeah. them. Oh, watch out. They're coming to get you. This is like Hitchcock or something. Oh, this is the same one we saw earlier. It's number 38. He's tagged right there. Same one we saw when we first came in. I'm so happy. Yeah, I bet I'm you. so happy. Hey, Mr. Flamingo. I think I have enough room for you in the car. I could take you home with me. Yeah? You'd like to go back to Tampa? Oh. He wants to go. <laughs> I think he's thirsty. He's trying to get the water out of the brick there. There's plenty of water over there, buddy. Oh. Wow. Oh, I careful. <laughs> this is amazing. Flamingo. Flamingo, I love you. Come here, give me a kiss. <laughs> and a giant giraffe. Look at that. It's real, Chris. It's real. It's a real giraffe. It is, yeah. It's just frozen. It's got uh, dead eyes. It's got dead eyes. Like a dog's eyes. <laughs> and here we have a Cotamunde. From North and South America. He's over here somewhere. Oh, he's coming this way. Check it out. Hello there, Cotamundi. Do you have a name? Oh, there you go. There's a better look at him. So beautiful. And there's a playground over here. A little train. A jungle gym. Of course, you got to have a jungle gym at Jungle Gardens. Right over that way. 
Oh, watch out behind you. There's a giant snake. Wow, that is cool. Oh, the, the, oh there's the, a peacock. Yeah, peacock. A peafowl over there. Yeah, this is really cool. It goes all the way this way. Over here into uh, this tree house. That's fun. I would have been all over that as a kid. There's prairie dogs. In here. There's prairie dogs? They got everything. That's not a prairie dog. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a giant squirrel from Western uh, United States and Mexico. Okay, it's a prairie dog. He's just looking at you. He's like just looking up at you. And now he's looking at me. I want to come home with you. All right, he's adorable. I want snow. There he went. Nice tail. Wow, it's just a giant elephant. I think it used to be a fountain. Maybe. Fountain or not, it's really cool. I like this. It's all the way down here. This is why uh, I, th I think it used to be a fountain. Here at the bottom. Beautiful stuff. Big eyes. Look at the eyes on that elephant. Huge. Oh yeah. Chris pointed out he's got a pipe hanging out of his butt. Definitely was a fountain. Are you following us? Wow. Nothing to see here. Just a flamingo walking by. Oh, I got a new friend. Sorry, Bella. Sorry. And it looks like the flamingo is heading over to uh, say hello to some of its friends. There's some more birds over here. Some parrots. Some cockatoos. Watch out. I He's getting a little violent. I literally almost walked him on that flamingo. I know. Did you hear me? I was like, no, hey, Chris, I watch out not. for the flamingo. I did not. <laughs> bird interaction photos. So, depending on what bird they grab from over here, you can take photos with it. There's people all over there to the right behind me in line to take photos with a bird. They put them right on your shoulder. And it's going down right over here. He's just picking the, uh, you choose your bird. This gentleman over here grabs it for you. All right, he picked the blue bird. He brings it over, puts the bird on your shoulder. Are you gonna do this, Chris? You could not pay me to do this. <laughs> Absolutely. That's pretty wild right there. That's worth the $22 for me. Obviously the flamingos is worth it, but this is just a bonus. Hold on, let me see. Make that face again. No, not doing it, not doing it. And all the way from Central Africa, Sokata tortoise. Check him out. Trying to get up there, trying to move up that uh, embankment. Very slow, of course. He'll get there next year. <laughs> oh, and behind him over here, there's some more lemurs. I can see the tails. And pulled back so you can see the uh, the area right here. This is where the turtles and the lemurs are. Right here underneath the hut. Little signage too. Pretty birds. Pretty birds. I'm saying I like that Pretty one. birds. Which one do you like? I like that one. No one. The one closest to us, yeah. not the blue one in the back? Oh my gosh. No. This one right here. This one, yeah. Yeah, that one's, that one's beautiful. Okay, a little map update. We came down this side over here. This is the Flamingo Cafe. And I am standing right here. Here's the you are here sign. And according to this, there should be an American crocodile right behind me. Uh, there sure is. It's what? not me. It's not me. It's in Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at that crocodillo. Look at the teeth on that. Wow. He's a big one. We do have American crocodiles, folks, down uh, below Miami, like Biscayne Bay area, Everglades. He's having a good time over there sunbathing. His eyes are right on top of his head. Check it out. Oh, I think he opened it up there. He's checking out. Ooh, he's checking out the prey over here. Ooh, children, younglings, yummy. Oh no. And right next to the crocodile, it really opens up over here. There's a building over there that says Reptile World. 
Oh, this is where we started. Okay, making our way around. We'll, Want to check out Reptile World? Let's go in that green building. Oh, okay. There are any frogs. This All right. Is part of your duties as being okay. your boyfriend is to look around, make sure there are no frogs. No frogs. Before I walk in. All right, I'll go in there and let you know. I'll wait here. Okay, into Reptile World we go. All right, I'll let her know. What's over here? Ooh, are you afraid of uh, red tegus? It's a giant lizard over here taking a nap. Okay, no frogs yet. Whoa, check that out. Vintage right there. Yeah, let's see. We've got a night anoles. It kind of looks like a frog. I don't see it in there. Amazon tree boa. He's somewhere in there. Hold on. I don't see any frogs, Chris, so far. Hello, my friend. How are you not afraid of turtles, but you're afraid of frogs? Well, there's some big ones over here. Okay, so this side of the room's clear. Let's go over here. It's a good way to give it a tour. We can check the area for frogs for my girlfriend. And we can uh, just check it out. Ooh, croc crocodile monitor. That's wicked. He's cool, he's a beauty. So far, no frogs. Ooh, snake. She's not afraid of snakes, but she's afraid of frogs. They scare her. And there's nothing in there. Ooh, what do we got? Everglades rat snake. All right. All right, a couple more things over here. So far, we're good. I gotta just check over here. Hold on. Uh, I see a tarantula. You're good on tarantulas? Tarantulas are fine. All right. Where are they? I don't even see them in there. And we've got over here a crocodile monitor, which I do not see. I think I think there are no frogs. This last uh, corner over here are pythons. So you're good. There's no frogs in there. And if I miss them, I'll update you guys, and I'll be walking home. Yeah, that was your one job. Okay. All right. Good luck, Chris. A frog. A frog. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just. I'm totally kidding. And the peacock lurks on the edge of the reptile world like Batman in Gotham on a Saturday night. He's the hero that, it's not the hero that we need, but the hero we deserve or whatever. Exactly, is, right? the, the peacock. Hey buddy, what's going on up there? Oh, you've been spotted. The sound of the uh, wind passing through the bamboo. Crickety, crickety, crickety. I think I see uh, another alligator over here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. Wow. Okay. I'm going to get back. He's a crocodile. Okay. So we circled back around. This is where we came in. And we're gonna head kind of back to the center to where the flamingos are. There is also a reptile show going on, but maybe we'll catch some of that on the way out, but I'm here for the flamingos. And Chris was pointing out in her video, if you don't like birds, this is not the place to be. No, Bird City here, Bird City. And if you love birds, this is the place to be. Yep, Bird City. Don't eat that. Hey, stop eating that. Oh, he heard me. Busted. All right, back into the jungle trail. Sorry, I was lagging. And now we're making our way down this hill. We're getting closer, I can feel it. It's opening up up there, isn't it, Chris? Here we come, flamingos. Into the great wide open. Watch them uh, like put them up or something and they're not out here. <laughs> Oh, okay, I just got scared. They're, They're right. over there. Yes. Good call. Waiting till the end, because yeah, so. there's fewer people out here. Flamingos, flamingos. I'm finally coming to feed you, fellas. Here I come. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to be respectful. Here you go, buddy. Come over this way. Got some for you. 
Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> yes. Flamingo. I got two left. One for you. One for you. Right there. Right there. All right. Oh, they, oh, you got more. Yeah, of course. This is a tub board. This is awesome. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the greatest things, one of the most fun things I've done. Ever done. There you go. They're so pretty. Look at their color. There you go. Need some more? Sure. Might as well use it all. Cause... Thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, watch out. Oh, I like your feet. Yeah, they're pretty. Pretty. Pretty awesome. Reach out. You can do it. Just reach out and get it. Maybe I should just toss it in front of its feet. Oh. This one's almost as tall as I am. Yeah. Well, I mean. They're coming from behind me. Oh, they're coming. They're uh, flanking me. No. How many are there right here? One, two, three, four, five. There's more over there, but I'm just counting these right here. Six, seven, eight, nine right here in this vicinity. And they will not go hungry, folks. Not tonight, that's for sure. Getting fed. Fed very well. This is how much I love my flamingos. Here you go. Come and get it. Here you go. No, not you. I said the flamingo. Okay, you can eat it too. <laughs> like you said, can't eat that at home. Yeah, a Bella might, but not. Uh, Probably not good for it. What if we painted her pink? Yeah, put her on little stilts. Yeah. Oh, I just got an idea. All right, my flamingos. I love you. The Sarasota Jungle Gardens flamingos are some of my fave. Although, I love them all. I miss my Bush Gardens flamingos. I heard that they uh, they got sick. Not too uh, far back, they might not be on display yet, but the Bush Gardens flamingos back in Tampa were, um, were sick. I think they got the bird flu. No, not pun intended. I think they actually got the bird flu. So I hope, I wish them well. I really do. I hope to see them back there soon. Flamingo. Flamingos. I hate goodbyes. I hate goodbyes. That was fun. Was so much fun. Nothing changed. You still have a blue hat. You do, yeah. <laughs> I'm, surprised. I'm surprised you picked that one though. Usually you go for, for this one. It was the hat. Yeah, it was the hat. I had to come That's here. Fair. You, you want this one? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Nice hat. Much better. Yeah, thank you. I got the same one. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Oh, there they are. What's going on? I just got your message. And our friends Brad and Amanda are here. Yeah, Brad and Amanda. Woo! We also Check it had out. to go to Jack's Donuts earlier today. Oh yeah, it's Jack's Aww. Donuts all closed. We, Hashtag Google Live. Coincidentally, we were all hanging out in Sarasota today. All right, I'll give him a little pit. Yeah. Do you have a YouTube? Yeah, we yeah. do. Both yeah, we do. Awesome. If you're ever interested in watching me catch alligators, uh, just type in Benny Foster on YouTube. Benny, Benny Foster? Foster? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll do that. Ben Foster. <laughs> have a good day. You too, man. That was cool. I like your shirt over here. What's that? Mothman? Aww. Bigfoot? I like the cryptids, except when they're chasing me, then I run like hell. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And the peacock. Look at that. All right, Chris, go up and get one of the feathers. I'm sure he sure. won't mind. Sure. Watch out, Amanda. It's Ric Flair. It is Ric Flair. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> and thanks for watching NBC, folks. <laughs> and before we leave, I have to show you these awesome strollers that look uh, about 20, 30, maybe 40 years old. That was adorable. I remember uh, when about every like attraction, like Universal Studios, Disney World had strollers. Legit strollers. Like, like cool strollers. Jurassic Park Jeeps and whatnot. Uh huh. SeaWorld had the dolphins. You could ride in a dolphin. Yeah. Those were the days. Strolling around. Mama push me.
Push my mama. All right, we made our way back up to the front. All the way around, almost twice. And just like almost every tourist roadside attraction of Florida, we always exit through the gift shop. Sarasota Jungle Gardens. On it. Ooh, <gasps> that's like a pretty that one. one. Yeah, that's a really cool one. You like that? Eighteen dollars. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, and that was a great time. Wow, I had such a blast in there. Finally got down here to Sarasota Jungle Gardens and ran into some friends too. Look at that. <laughs> Check out the uh, Sarasota Jungle Gardens mobile. It's a cool van. Sarasota's favorite family attraction. I get that. Definitely fun for the whole family. And there's flamingos. Oh yeah. Did you guys like it in there? It was fun. Very much so. I had a right. conversation with a bird. <laughs> they loved it. <laughs> All right guys, you know what to do if you've been watching this channel for a long time. You know what I'm about to say, what I'm about to request so kindly from the bottom of my heart. I would like to say first, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, give it one of those right down there, thank you, and also subscribe below if it's your first time here, and also subscribe to Chris the Girl. Hi. Check out her video as well, she made a video Appreciate today it. of course, and that's the end of this video, Sarasota Jungle Gardens, a dream come true, feeding the, feeding the flamingos, and I'm glad I waited so I could have that experience with you yeah this has been on my radar for a couple years now and uh the flamingos especially and i'm glad it didn't work out and it worked out right now while you're here in florida so we could do that together it so happened how it was supposed to happen the so. universe aligned exactly even though we didn't have jack's donuts today that would have been okay. that would have been a, yeah. been good timing and we'll just have to go back. Uh, and then our friends brad and amanda uh -huh. were happened to be in sarasota and we mm -hmm. linked up and we got to spend time with them at the end so yeah it was uh the universal wand yeah i love it when it does that it's been doing that a lot lately and i'm very grateful mm -hmm. uh for it um again thank you so much for watching just hit 50,000 subscribers last video and um if you missed that i want to make that announcement again so yeah thank you from the bottom of the heart uh especially to those who have been watching you know since the beginning or since they uh every video since uh they subscribed to the channel like uh really really love you guys appreciate you love you all you know even if you miss one here and there you know it doesn't that doesn't matter you know i, I for all of you who who has ever clicked upon this video watched um has ever watched one of these videos and then subscribed thank you all of you all fifty thousand of you and counting so i think it's up to about fifty thousand sixty five right now so very grateful and i just want to add that here i might add that again um within the next couple videos in case someone missed uh missed out on that announcement i want them to hear it it's a big uh, it's a big, big achievement yeah for, for the channel and it's very very well deserved i never so. uh i never thought i'd get five subscribers so it's a big deal yeah it is and i'm very grateful but yeah so that's it that's a wrap sarasota in the books another florida roadside attraction see you next time we might uh hang around a bit though and take a tour of sarasota yeah. i might show you some things yeah all right peace out oh look and there goes brad and amanda oh here we go okay bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> all right that's it that's, that's a wrap it. yep okay Bye. and i wanted to take chris the girl on a little drive through sarasota check this out wow. a region i'm not going to disclose this How do I want to say this? This is a very secluded spot right here. Yeah. You're not supposed to park here, but it's very cool that you can drive along the Gulf of Mexico in the waves. Sarasota, that's all I'm saying, but I just wanted to put this at the end of the video. Actually, if you tune into Chris's video, you get more of the story. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Crashing down. But I will go ahead.
ahead and show you the ocean out here. Isn't that amazing? The waves right up on the side of the road here. Oh my gosh, we have never seen anything like this before. In Florida, yeah. This oh. is crazy. Yeah, the waves, the waves crash are high and they actually Look at this. like... Don't need a car wash. Go up over the road here. Bananas. Yeah, I'm getting a little wet from it too. From the ocean. So beautiful. Here comes a golf cart. Stephen King? Could be. Oh, watch out. Here they come. Yeah. Oh. Stephen King. A couple cars coming up behind us. Look at this spooky house. Ooh. And the banyan tree to the right. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Yeah, he gets. Oh no, oh I'm so gosh. sorry. <laughs> oh man. I, I screamed like a girl. You I did? Got, yeah, I did. Uh, you, you are a Krista girl. Yeah, I know. I got what? Oh my gosh. It's beautiful over here. Yeah.